Uh, monster summoning three that really doesn't need to be there twice. Old monster, sure. Oracle? And that cancels the illusion spells. That might be handy. Cloud kill just seems like it wouldn't be useful in most circumstances. But... Yeah, enemies we're facing are generally too strong for it to be a problem. Contingency, of course, and true sight. What is the contingency he has hit? Improved invisibility on himself when he reaches 50% uh, hit points. Hmm. He's going with Oracle. I'm gonna say uh, he's gonna have Disintegrate ready in case such an extreme spell becomes necessary. That's his. Minsk, though. Oh, he gets the third level spell now. His spell magic actually might be really handy. That's always helpful when you have another person who can cast that. Yeah, that's fine. He can't cast spells. And old Yanny here. He's got a lot of good choices at the ready. Of course. And that's good. Ah, uh, we are ready all and heroes. Able. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! That lock of hair. And now I can do that lady really needs some rest, so let's do it. Resting in well after a nice solid drink or two. Resting in the finest quarters this place can offer. Oh, she's still not in good shape. I guess we'll just keep on resting then. Oh hey, now she's looking better. Yeah, let's rest one more time. And then have a Suzale. Very nice. Yes, just name what you want. Oh, and there's identifying this, of course. Ah, uh, Cloak of Protection plus one. Anyone want it? Anyone even use it? I doubt it. Nope, doesn't look like it. I care it already has one. Alright, so we'll sell that lock of hair. Uh, he wants to keep that for personal reasons. Um, yeah, let's save it. I got some cheap beer for ya. Okay, very good. Sell that, and we're done. Mm -hmm. Of course! Jahira is all better. Yan's business has been handled. And the party has been up to quite I wouldn't dream of refusing their fair share of drama here out there back in the city. But they finally managed to get a handle on things. They're not really any closer to figuring out who they're gonna have help them in order to <laughs> get Emowin back. Will I go kill that over there? Come on, let's kill something! Given everything that's happened, I would say that Carrot is certainly ready to really look into this matter. And it definitely does seem like something that really needs to occur, given all the insanity that has been going on here recently. I mean, just the absolute lunacy that is this place, and all the things that go on inside it. And there's also these dragon scales. Something could obviously be done about those. As a matter of fact, oh yes, I think that's something that Carrot is going to insist on immediately. I mean, now that the party has actually been able to gain their bearings, it might be really prudent for them to uh, go to the docks and seek out the legendary Smith Cromwell. Just as I thought. A smith who uh, has a reputation for making very fine magical arms and armor. 
think that actually might be a decent thing for the party to do, and with Dragon Scale, they might be able to make some really impressive pieces of armor, or maybe a shield, or something like that. Definitely seems like the thing to do right now. Now that the party has a little room to breathe, Jira's enemy has been dealt with, and Yans is... Well, we've done as much as we can there right now. Let us go speak with Cromwell. Onward, then! Hi there. Something into the task at hand. Your chatter is starting to wear on me nerves. Eh? Who's there? Some boy, human wandering in me smithy, I see. I rarely get visitors with a blistering heat and all. Something I can do for ye, boy. Will you be the Crom, the mighty smith Cromwell? My name be Cromwell. I'll be happy you'll be telling me who you are, you then. I'm Carrot Leray. It's pleased to meet you. Aye, welcome to me, Smithy Carrot. Is there something that you be needed from an old dwarf, mayhap? Oh, I'd like to see what you have for sale. I'm not selling you anything. I'm the finest blacksmith in Akatla. I work on commission only. I can make most anything you desire. What sort of things do you make? I am made armors from the scales of a basilisk, a helmet from a cockatrice. I must have put the fear into the hearts of the bloody gods themselves. Ah! All me works be done from commissions. Give me the ingredients and I can forge an item of power, sure enough. Tis a good living for a smith of me skills. Well, what sort of things would you need in order to make something? Well, now that depends. Rare scales or husks may have or a magical metal I could forge. Even the pieces to a larger item can be repaired. My skills are many. Do I have anything you could forge into something, then? Hmm, I couldn't rightly say. Let me have a look into your goods, then. A minute to rummage in, I'll know for sure, eh? Hmm, what's this? Some kind of scale from a beast, eh? Why, oh, you've collected the scales of a shadow dragon. By the soul forger, tis a grand sight. I can make a suit of armor from yon scales, if you like. What would that involve? Two things, my friend. It'll cost you 5,000 gold for the work, no less. Without an apprentice, you'll have to stay here a full day and help me run the forge. Well, that sounds fine. Let's do it. As you wish. For such a commission, we can start on it right away. No sense in wasting time, then. It'd be best if we just get to it. Alright, so Karen and the rest of the party helping out uh, Cromwell he turns the Shadow Dragon scales into armor. He's smithing away, look at him go. Well, there you go, my friend. Use it well. And if he comes across anything of interest, he knows where to bring I it by. I haven't fight. been this pleased with a group of folks since the Cormirians sent the price of turnips through the roof during the Onion Famine. Shadow Dragon Scale. This suit of armor is formed from interlocking Shadow Dragon Scales. Elegant worksmanship and practical considerations make this armor both beautiful and useful. Shadow Dragon Scales grant the wearer extra protection from acid. Armor class of 1, weight of 10. 50% resistance to acid. Who can use it? Anyone except the mage. Mince can use it. Although I'm not sure it would be an improvement for him. No. Jahira. She could use it, but it wouldn't be an improvement for her. Heather, in terms of armor class. Oh, wow. Apparently Yoshimo can use it as well. And Yan can't use normal armor without not being able to cast spells. How does this compare to the knight's gift? It helps him hide better. This protects him better. Wow. Let's see. I guess this would go to Yoshimo then. And it is all black. So that does actually kind of rather match. Alright. Shadow Dragon Scales for Yoshimo then. Awesome. As for this... Um... Maybe we can just stash it away in here. And we'll just sell this shield. And what about these red dragon scales? That's what I'm curious Ready about. Ready and as you will. So, uh... 
Anything you could forge into an item again, Cromwell? What's this? Oh, scales from a beastie. Ah, scales from a red dragon, a beast of the dread flame. Shall make a ground suit of armor if you wish me, friend. That hold your interest. Well, what's that? 5,000 gold? You got it. I'll help you out. Oh, there you go. Use it well. Red Dragon Scale. Dragon Scale armor is light of weight, strong, and resistant to fire. Because of these properties, is much sought after, but finding, let alone slaying, a powerful ancient dragon is near impossible. It's usually easier to search for an existing suit, such as this one. One should be careful wearing it in your dragons, however, particularly red ones. Armor class negative one. Fifty percent fire resistance. Wow. Sure, that would be better than what Minsk has. Yeah, negative four. <laughs> and he's bright red. <laughs> Let's see, could Tahiri use it? Oh yeah, this is armor for fighters. And it would be better than what she has. She's got full plate plus one. Hmm, who should get the shadow uh, dragon armor? Let's see, he already has protection. Oh, that's from the helmet. What about her? She also has protection from fire. But from what? Oh, the ring. Hmm. Well, that would be kind of overkill, I think. So, I think Minch should get this armor. And it would probably make sense if he wore the dragon helm with it. Because it does kind of match. I mean, it's all red and everything. Yeah. This is a decent helmet, though, but I don't think anyone else can wear it. So we might as well save it. Man, look at that. Glowing all red. <laughs> well, this is all armor I can probably sell now, then. Yeah, by the looks of it, anyway. I don't think anyone else needs a plus one ring. Maybe Yan. Somehow I doubt it, but, you know. So we can sell all that, then. Now we have some very impressive armor. See battle bo run bo run Minsk is all red. <laughs> Minsk the red. That does seem strangely appropriate. Of course. So was there anything else he could turn into it? Husk of an ankeg. Comrade in Baragos taught me to make a fine suit of armor from the beastie. I'd like to commission a suit. Five thousand. I don't think so. And, well, actually, we could technically afford it. The question is, would it be worth it as armor, based off of the stuff we already have? I don't know. I'm sure we could sell it if not. I wouldn't dream of refusing. All right, let's do it. We can always earn more gold. It's not like we even know who we're going to spend it on. Oh, there you go, he says. On keg plate. Ah, oh, this old armor. Armor class of one with a weight of 25. How does that measure up to what you hear it has? It's a bit worse, but it does, it does it definitely, it's more in her style, considering it's on keg plate. Weight 25 versus weight 35. How does it look on her? It's kind of like a green tint. 
I go. Yeah, that does seem much more her style. I mean, it does. It is basically one less armor class, but that that's not that much of a difference. And it's Ankeg plate, which just seems much more druid appropriate. So I'm gonna go with that for now. He's got all black. She's green. He's red. He's like purple and blue, and carrot is blue and yellow. Primary colors. Hilarious. Um, as for this armor, we should probably keep it, considering how valuable it is. Thing is, is that possible? It is if we actually take something out of here that we really don't need. Like maybe... the Toygen bow? I mean, it really only is a plus one bow. I mean, it's not that impressive. I mean, three shots per round is nice, but it's just a plus one bow. We can sell that. As for projectiles, yeah, give them to Minsk. Okay, so we'll sell all that crap that Minsk has in order to try to cover our profits. Okay, I think I'm going to sell some of these scrolls too. Maybe even some of these arrows. Just because we're kind of in a desperate financial straits here. So sell all this stuff. All this here. We'll find a merchant. But is there anything Whatever else Cromwell would be interested in? You have a scroll with a true monema, a thunderhammer, chrome, fear. Had ye a hammer of thunderbolts, gauntlets of ogre power, and a girdle of frost strain strength. I could combine them and forge it. But ye don't, so I can help ye. If you can collect the scroll and all three items later, keep them on hand. Chrome fear is worth the effort, my friend. Let me see if you have anything else in your packs. Yeah, hey, part of some sword here, is it? Let me see. Hmm, pretty enough pommel, Jim. Without the blade or the hilt of the bluffin, I cannot forge it into one piece for you. A pity. What else you got? Eh, nothing else. Perhaps another time, then. Just name what you want. Of course! It's hilarious how red Minsk is now. <laughs> So here is green, and Minsk is red, Carrot's blue. All the primary colors of light. Dazzling through. Well then. Well, with that in mind, I suppose, uh... Not really sure what the party should be up to now. Yoshimo still says he needs to see renal blood scalp. We could get involved and see what this murder business is in the bridge district. We still have that invitation to meet people at the graveyard at night. Wait a minute. I thought we solved the Salomnic Knights problem. Yeah, Ribald has taken gold. Send a mage to the sphere and teleport them home. At these prices, she better show up. Oh, okay, so we need to check in on that. Alright, so we need to go back to the, uh, the slums then. And what was this other one here? A friend of Quail needs help? Rayla Shy. At the Five Flag of Inn. Hmm. Well, let's go to the slums, just because not only can we sell our goods there, but also to check in what's going on at the Sphere, since we did pay I wouldn't dream send the Salomnic Knights back home. I think Herod would absently be petting uh, his little familiar scales here, when he isn't otherwise busy. Yeah, and there were always the prospects of a job that this Corgan guy had been talking about. I suppose that's something the party could look into if they wanted to. As for now, though, we need to talk to old Bernard here. Minsk Make way, villainy! Hero coming through!
Okay. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to help uh, get some of those funds back. Very good. Not quite so broke now. Just had to sell some nice things. Anything in this bag we should probably toss? I yeah, might want to keep the battle axe. And the bow. And the other axe. And the armors. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna keep the rest of that. I wanna kill now! Just as I thought! <laughs> So let's return to the sphere. Onward then! Considering that helmet and the armor Minsk has, I don't think he has to worry about fire anymore. Which is pretty handy. For him, I'm sure. Is really conveniently color coded now. I you like must it. Gather your party. Well, we should have another primary color though. If carrot is blue, oh, oh crap! What's this? It just doesn't look good at all. Let's save. Speak then. Well, carrot, I return with your first dirty and first duty under the yoke of the Keld wizards. I trust you have made yourself at home in this place. Ugh. As well as can be expected, what is it that you want? Enough chatter. You are to forgo your own concerns and do the task I set, though I do not understand why you have been chosen. Do not understand, rather. It hardly seems worth the trouble. I bring three young mages. They have shown potential, and have been removed from their homes that they might be cultivated as productive cowed wizards. These apprentices shall serve and observe while you direct their schooling. This will not require much, but they may even supply you with things you need. Introduce them, then. I'll see what I can do. The first is Moral, and he speaks for the others. He is the son of a wealthy merchant, and his father would be most upset if something happened to his gifted child. I can't even really see them. Hello, Carrot. It will be an honor to study in your shadow. I'm sure. Next is Lars. He found some old magic text and studied without his parents' knowledge. They feared the stigma he would bring and cast him out. Cowards. I have found others that appreciate me now. Speak when spoken to, child. Next is Nara, from the area of trade meat. She was given to a temple as a foundling, and has since developed a taste for magic. I will serve as best I can, Carrot. Nothing less is expected. Carrot and will receive their instruction from the Caldswitch directly, but you will determine the basics of their study. Have you discovered anything about the whereabouts of Imowen? I must know. The name brings uncomfortable shifts from those in leadership. I will see if there is more to learn, and return when I have something worthwhile to say. The task at well, that was uh, uncomfortably vague. You are welcome in my sight. Well, apparently the Salomnic Knights are talking to us, even though we're not there. How buggy. Hi, Carrot. Revolt has told me you wish some people sent to their proper plane. Knights of some sort. Are we ready to do this? Well, let's ask the Knights themselves if they are ready to go. We are ready, of course. Our home beckons from beyond the walls of dimensions. Yes, well, be that as it may, this might sting a bit. Farewell, then. And farewell to you, Carrot. A pleasure doing business with you. Wait. One last second. Carrot, we know this was not an inexpensive gift that you give to us. That is why we have something for you in return. Take this. It is a small token of our gratitude. Well met, and safe travels. And with that, we are gone. Good day to you. And they are teleported away. And we go to our students. Y yes teacher. Have you valuable instruction to give us? There's no need for such formality. What exactly have you been studying? Little useless trinket enchantment. Oh, hush. 
At least we are getting instruction. Yeah, instruction on how to waste your talents. Stop it! They have to start somewhere. Carrot, if you would direct us on what our next assignment should be, then we can begin. We have some choice in this, or rather you do. You will be the owner of whatever we make. In minor enchantments, we have a couple of useful things. There's a little something I like to, like to call the Wand of the Apprentice. When used, it randomly shoots fire, ice, or lightning. Very nasty. Materials would cost a thousand gold. No, no. I suggest we make a dagger for our new teacher. We'll call it the Dagger of Carrot Le Ray. How about that? It would only cost about 250 gold for supplies. Very good. Though I would prefer something a little more practical still. A ring of protection is a standard test in this discipline. It is a little risky, though. What say you, Carrot? It would cost 2,000 gold. We've already got rings of protection. We really have no need for those. A wand of the apprentice? That actually might be somewhat interesting. But Carrot is kind of a sucker for sentimental gifts. And so if they're going to make him a dagger, it's actually the dagger of Carrot the Ray. He would probably find that interesting. And say, the dagger of Carrot the Ray sounds really nice. M mine? Uh, I am flattered that you would want to be flattered. I'll try to have it as soon as possible. It will take a while to do it properly. I think a few days will do it. Yes, that will suffice. In that time, you will have your item cured. Wish us well. As you will. And they get to work. Oh, and they gave us a girdle. The knights. Golden Girdle of Ernst. Created to protect a powerful wizard against malevolent warriors. This magical garment is made of red silk strewn with golden flakes. It is enchanted to give limited protection against slashing weapons of any type. The carrier definitely has a better belt. This is against bluntness, plus four. She here has one against piercing, plus three. I guess we could give it to... Yeah, why not? Let's give it to uh, Yoshimo there. Ian doesn't have a belt, but, you know, whatever. Every little bit helps. And the Salomnic Knights are gone. And our apprentices, our new apprentices, they all seem interesting in their own right. Lars is a bit of a, a bit cocky. Don't really like him. Nara seems a bit doting, but she seems generally friendly and cooperative. You must gather your. And uh, I don't remember the name of the one that stutters. I feel kind of bad about that, but. Of course. Here doesn't have the best memory. I think everyone knows that. But as for colors, though, I've got red, green, blue, black. I don't think purple is quite Yan's color. Maybe we can do some shopping then. Maybe get him something just a little less ridiculous. Well, if we got red, green, blue, and black, I'm not white. Or like a gray. Oh, that doesn't really match with the blue though. Isn't there a pure white color? I don't think there is. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look good. Maybe, uh... Hmm. Yellow? And... Black. I'll do it for a turnip. No, that doesn't look good either. Man, it's hard getting this gnome into some clothing that doesn't make him look completely ridiculous. Ooh, maybe like a dark purple like that. Ooh, that's much better. I wouldn't dream of refusing. I like it. It's not black, but it's not really purple either. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, wow, yeah, after all that, what will the party do now? I'm not really sure. Oh, I think I just inadvertently clicked on the bridge district. 
Oh, all right then. Well, uh, all things considered, maybe it would be prudent if the party looked into all the trouble that's going on in the bridge district. Um, it just seems like a particularly relevant thing to be looking into. Probably a decent prospect for reward. We're all pretty well protected now, more or less. Certainly couldn't hurt. So yeah, let's say this is a uh, carrot and company f back in the city. Not bad, not bad at all. Anyway, I think that's enough for this session. I hope everyone has enjoyed watching. It's been a, a fun one. I really liked getting into the player characters, uh, you know, their own little plot lines and stories. I think that's always interesting and generally fun. So, that's always uh, enjoyable in my opinion. Either way, though, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I'm gonna go for now. Take care, and see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.